as a programmer, you will definitely get into a situation where your application will grow and the database results you start dealing with will grow also uh, to about a thousand or so. And when you're dealing with this amount of data, you might find that it might slow down your application as you'll have to manipulate the data. So how you will solve this is by trying to reduce the number of database calls you make. This way it will speed up your application. Okay, how you do this is by letting the database do all the heavy lifting for you. So first of all, I'm going to show you a simple table. From our table, I'm going to create functions which will, which will use to manipulate the data. And from there, I'll just show you how to call, uh, how to call the function. First of all, this is our data table we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be having a data table customer. We're going to, in our customer, just to illustrate, I had customer OK and customer TM. Customer OK and customer TM buy product X, Y, Z, and N from us at these values. At the end of the day, we want to know how many, how many products X and Y customer OK brought from us and how many products X and N the client bought from us. How we achieve this is, is it's quite simple. We can do this using a function. First of all, let me just show you my data table. I created my, my client customer. And I just preloaded some values to illustrate how it works. From there, I'm going to open my SQL workbench because I find it's easier to work with when I'm creating functions and procedures. I, I, on my, my, on my, my SQL workbench, you'll find that on your, on your left side, this is where all your database tables are, where all your databases are actually listed. And in this case, I'm using test2. I'm going to click uh, on test2. Then under test2, you will see there is ways to turn routines. You will, you will have to click uh, you will have to right click on routines and click create function according to our requirements we want to see how, how many or how much of product X and Y each client bought from us so how we do this is a bit simple it's first of all it's function X Y so that we know what we're looking for function underscore X Y since we want to know which client, what which client we are dealing with, it's I'm going to put I, then I'm going to say customer, I for in and customer so that we know we are dealing with which client, which will be a variable character to me of about fifty. Okay, for a function, you have to specify what type of thing you're going to be returning. In this case, since we're dealing with amounts, I want to return a decimal. Decimal. Okay, first of all, we have to pick product X, which will be select sum of total. Total, remember. As I illustrated, we need to know the total of our products. Total from customer where, where name, where name, where customer dot name is equals to I underscore customer and product and product is equals to X and then we're gonna just gonna have to terminate there we also need to know how much of product Y the client also got from us so we we'll just simply copy this statement as it is control C and we're just gonna paste it here, control V. Select some total from customer where this time our product is Y. At the end of the day, we need to be able to return the sum of the two totals. Oh, I had almost forgotten. Here we're selecting the sum of total, but we need, it, we need to load it into a variable. 
So I'm going to load into. You use the add sign to show that you're now calling a variable. And we're going to call it, let's say, A. And then we need to do the same for here. Into, let's call it this time, add Y. So at the end of the day, we need to return sum of at A plus sum of at Y. See, because we need to know how much of product X the, the client bought from us and how much of product Y the client bought from us and we need the total. After that, our first function is done. So I'm just going to click apply and there. And then just simply to test that, I'm just going to say, we're going to just call our function so that we can test it. First of all, we have to select the database we're using. In this case, I'm using test2. Use test2 there. And then I call my database. After my database is called, I'm, I'm going to have to call that function, which will be select function underscore x y we're going to just put in a client okay like this we terminate and we do the call and you see we get a result okay from our requirements is we are meant to know how much of product x and y the client bought from us and we need to know how much of client how much of product x and n the client bought from us so how we do this is it's it's simple. Right click there and we create another function. Create function. This time we're going to call it x n. Uh, function underscore x n, which also takes in the client. I will call this customer, which we say is a variable character. About 50. Close there. And we're going to return a decimal again. This here. More. So that we make it easier on us, we can just simply copy this function. Um, copy from begin up to end. Control C. And we just paste it here from begin up to end. Control V. Okay. In this case, we want X, and X we do have, but we don't want Y, we now want N. And we just change this to N. And voila, our other function is done. We just click apply and finish. Now we need to test whether it's working. So we need to change it from X, Y to X, N. And we test that, voila, X, N, is also, we're also getting eight. Mm, just to see whether it's correct, let's go into our database. XN, mm, okay. Let's just change this so that, uh, let's just put like 6 to see if the result does change. 6 to see if our result changes. And we click run again. 11, yes, it's changing, so it's working. So now, to collect all the results from the database, to run all the queries for our database, it's now a very simple select statement where we're going to select, since we want to know per customer, it's going to be distinct name, customer dot name, so that we, we select only, we only select the client once. From there, we're going to have to call the function, function, um, function, x y and we're just going to copy this customer control c and we're just going to paste it in the customer name so that we now select the customer name from there and then i'm going to call function x n which will paste again the customer name and we close there and we terminate and we're going to run this Run. Um, run. Let's see. Unknown table. Unknown table customer. Oh, we forgot. Sorry about that. Select customer from 
custom like that and we're going to run it now and voila we get our results uh, thank you